rally made its way to the Texas State Capitol this afternoon. The Colleen Education Association requested our reporter exclusively accompany them as they tried to speak with Representative Brad Buckley regarding living wages. Aaron Heft has more on today's rally from the Capitol. Do you believe currently that teachers in the state of Texas are paid a living wage? No, I know they're not. No. No, I don't find it fair. We need it right now. A Red for Ed rally 10,000 educators strong shook the windows of the Texas State Capitol with their cries for change. We are here as educators to stand up for our rights. Everyone deserves a, you know, a much earned pay raise. The Clean Educators Association drove down to voice their strong opinions and demand change while speaking directly with Representative Brad Buckley. I felt like that he wasn't quite hearing those folks who were in the room. In reference to her conversation with Representative Buckley. He gets into the weeds about appropriations and I just asked him a simple question. Do teachers in Colleen deserve a living wage? Unanimously passed by the Senate last week, Bill 3 seems to be worrying those at the rally. It's not fair for them to want to pin, you know, teachers and librarians against everyone else. We are here to stand for a living wage. We are here to stand for good health care benefits. In Senate Bill 3, a salary hike of $5,000 would be in order for classroom teachers and librarians alike, though it excludes all other support personnel. Uh, I, as a teacher of music, would not be eligible for that raise because they don't consider me to be a classroom teacher the child care and groceries and a car and gas that's not a living wage an outstanding fear rick belay says he's heard reiterated layoffs due to the inability to reduce teacher salaries once raised meaning if fiscal caps are met districts may make cuts 40 percent of texas teachers work a second job because they can't have make ends meet will their message influence legislation or reverberate off the capitol halls to be met by closed doors in Austin, Aaron Heft, Central Texas News Now. We will keep you, of course, up to date on the latest on Senate Bill 3 as it passes through the House.